Mountain Guides. I'm here today to share with you what I take with me when I go ice climbing. Uh, by means of introduction, I'm an avid ice climber, recreational ice climber, and I occasionally assist on Sierra Mountain Guides ice climbing trips. And um, I am basically unsponsored, so my gear recommendations come from the heart. And um, the other thing is, what I'm going to share with you today is just for Eastern Sierra ice climbing. It's not for Ure ice climbing or Montana or Banff. I'm going to take a totally different kit with me, so just keep that in mind. Um, it's a little, little warmer here. So anyway, I'm going to start from the inside out. Um, for my base layers, I usually wear something like this Capoline 4 uh, hoodie by Patagonia. I love hoodies because you can always make your shirt a little warmer. Um, and then I'll also wear a really lightweight pair of, these happen to be Patagonia too, but Marmot makes them, OR makes them, um, whatever you prefer. A lot of people are wearing uh, wools or silks instead of synthetics, so I'm going to just start with a light base layer like that. For my pants, I wear Patagonia Guide pants. They are just a lightweight, soft shell pant. They have one pocket, very simple, um, you know, very movable. Um, like these a lot, as you can tell by the patch on the book. <laughs> and um, then I'll hike into Levine and Canyon, for instance, in that. And then when I get there, if it's a warm day or if it's a little wet out or a little cold, I carry with me a really lightweight pair of these happen to be Marmot pre-sip pants, very inexpensive. Um, and you know they can just roll up really small into your pack just in case it happens to be wet or cold out there. So bring those two. So that's for the bottoms. Also gaiters, very important if you don't want to ruin your pants. Um, I learned that the hard way as most people do. So I have a pair of OR um, gaiters. These are some of their less expensive than the Verglas gaiters is what they're called and they make them for men and women. Uh, for the top, if it's a little chillier outside, I might wear something like, I love this uh, OR Rumor hoodie comes in great colors and it's got a hood because I love hoods. Um, it's got thumb loops which is really nice and it's just a nice way to kind of beef up um, the warm factor while you're out there. Basically when you're ice climbing you're either one of two things. You're either climbing and you're hot or you're belaying and you're freezing. And so when I'm ice climbing I when I'm actually on the ice I like wearing this coat by Arcteryx. It's no longer made before I like it because it's soft shell so it breathes well, but in the shoulders and the hood and the wrist it is um, Gore-Tex and so you know it stays a little bit drier than others. Levine and Canyon can get kind of wet sometimes. Um, I like it too because when I lift my arms, you know, it doesn't come up too high and the sleeves stay down and so make sure you just pick a jacket that fits well, that the hood fits over your helmet. Um, I happen to like this one, but they don't make it anymore. so. And then for jacket, no matter what, I usually just bring the Big Mama, the Mountain Hardware, uh, Sub-Zero, big old parka. You can just throw it on, and if it's a little bit warmer out, you keep it unzipped. If it's colder out, you zip it up, and it's awesome. And it's a little bit waterproof, too, which is really nice and very durable. So, oh, the other thing I do is I bring two pairs of socks. I wear one on the hike up, and then once we get up there, I change my socks, and it keeps my feet warmer all day, because even if you feel like you're going really slow and not sweating, you're sweating. Um, and so take the sweaty socks off, put the warm socks on, and you'll be happy for the day. This brings me to boots. I have these La Sportiva boots. I got these for like $100, which I was really excited about. For you, I'd recommend, if you have the means, find a boot that fits really well. These happen to fit me pretty darn well, but you want insulated mountain boots. You can wear plastic double boots, you can wear um, other kinds of double boots that are either synthetic or leather on the outside with a thing, you know, a liner that comes out. These ones are just um, insulated. They are not double boots. So, but keep those feet warm. So you'll be very comfortable. Um, boots that are sort of made for ice climbing come with a toe and a heel bail, and we'll get into that in a second with the crampon discussion, and Jed will talk more about that later. These have a toe and a heel bail. Um, it's just a way to fit crampons on and they tend to be a little stiffer too. So. Let's see, what else? I also bring with me a totally waterproof shell that's really lightweight in case it's super drippy out there when I'm climbing. 
This one's made by Marmot. I think it's called the Crystalline or something. Weighs like five ounces, super nice. Like you saw, it fits in a little tiny thing and I just throw it in my pack um, just in case it's super drippy while we're climbing. Let's see, of course, you're gonna bring a warm hat. Um, I love buff headgear. They're basically just a tube of lightweight material. You can put it on your head or on your neck. There's all different ways to wear it. Very nice. Um, Levi Canyon is always shaded pretty much and so you can either wear goggles while you're out there or you can wear sunglasses. We love native sunglasses. They have interchangeable lenses and they have these cool super light lenses so you can protect your eyes and still see while you're in the shade. Um, so this is a nice option. We like hard cases since ice climbing contains a lot of sharp objects so you don't scratch up your expensive glasses. Uh, we'll do gloves really quick. I have again like my jacket system I have lightweight climbing gloves. These are made by OR. can't remember what they're called right now but um, they're waterproof, super lightweight, really dexterous. I could tie my shoe when I wear these and they're awesome for ice climbing. I love them. Um, and then when I get down and I'm done climbing, I usually throw on a really lightweight pair of fleece gloves and then the down mittens, which are awesome. These things are pretty inexpensive and super warm. These have a grippy palm so you can lay pretty well in them. And if it's really cold, then I'll wear waterproof over mitts. So these are, again, inexpensive, grippy, nice. It's my glove system. Always bring more gloves than you think you need because they'll always get wet and your hands will always get cold and they don't weigh that much, etc. So some kind of last thing, the crampons really quick. I personally, like you saw, I have toe and heel bales in my boots and so I like a monopoint lightweight crampon that has a toe and a heel bale. Jed will talk more about crampons later. Anti-bot plates are awesome, especially in Levi and Canyon where it can get really snowy. Um, take obviously a harness and a helmet is absolutely required in ice climbing areas. They make helmets that have plastic shields that go in front of your face that are really nice that can kind of compensate if you don't have light colored lenses for your sunglasses or whatever those work well. Um, obviously ice tools are going to be part of your kit. I love the black diamond cobras. They're lightweight since I'm small. Some people prefer a heavier tool Holy preference. I love those ones. They're leashless, so we wear this little bifurcated leash thing that attaches to your harness and attaches to each tool, so you have the leashless feel, but you're not going to drop them because um, you don't want to be up there without the tools, right? Um, one more thing to note about Levi and Canyon is it can get really snowy up there. When it's really snowy, you have avalanche concerns, so you always want to check your avalanche report at esavalanche.org. You can always call our office to check with our guides to see if we think it's safe to go out there. Um, if it is super snowy, but it's deemed safe to go out there, then some other things I'll carry with me are snowshoes. Um, MSR makes great snowshoes. They're the only ones I use, basically. Uh, trekking poles and a shovel so that you can make a nice platform for belaying or for setting your stuff down. So. We'll let Jed talk about backpacks. Oh, right. The stuff that I carry in my pack, too. Some essentials, first aid kit, always very important. A headlamp. People always end up coming out of Levi and Canyon um, in the dark. This is a big deal. So always bring a headlamp and bring one for your friend, too. And then my personal favorite, the thermos. This one is H1N1 resistant because it has two cups. So you can share with a friend. So. Thanks for watching and we'll see what Jed carries with him next. <laughs>